spare chargers are really good to power small projects. Today we are going to hack this 5 volt mobile charger to get more than 10 volts to drive a 10 watt LED. All components look fine on the circuit board. So I'll connect the circuit to the mains and test if the circuit works. As the plug of this mobile charger is broken, I'll disconnect the mains wire from the plug and connect them separately. When the charger is connected, the indication LED of the charger lights up and the multimeter shows 5 volts output when connected at the output terminals. To increase the output voltage, we need to search for Zenodel which looks like this. It is located here on the circuit board. To discriminate Zener diode from 1 and 4148 diode, look for the value 5V1 on the Zener diode. This indicates the Zener diode is 5.1 volt regulator. After identifying the Zener diode, replace it with a Zener whose value is more than 10 volts or connect a series Zener to it such that the total value is more than 10 volts. Here I am connecting a 7.5 volt Zener to it in series such that the total value will be around 12.6 volts. Now let's test the output voltage. Even though we connected a 12.6 volt Zener, the output voltage still remains under 11 volts due to design limitations. The Zener diode shouldn't be left open circuit as this can lead to the damage of transistors on the circuit. Now let's connect the LED and test it. The LED is a 10 watt LED which needs at least 10 to 12 volts to light up. And the current input of the LED is about 1 amp. The LED lights up very brightly as soon as I connect it and it also gets very hot as it is a high power LED. I measured the current going to the LED to be about 380 milliamps. As it is a cheap charger, it cannot supply enough current to the LED, but still the LED is bright enough. I soldered these wires to the LED permanently and tested the LED again. Now you can connect this circuit to a CFL base to be used with a bulb socket or you can connect it to a simple plug so that it can be used to a plug socket. You can place the circuit back into the same charger case and I removed the plug part of this cover and placed it back over the case. Now the light is ready. The only part left is the heatsink. You can use any metal piece as heatsinks. Today we are going to use this. First we will keep small amount of heatsink compound over the LED. We will use a 2 pot epoxy which can handle high temperatures to stick the LED onto the heatsink. I will stick the epoxy only at the corners of the LED such that there is no air gap between the LED and the heatsink. Let the epoxy dry for a couple of hours depending on the setting time. I have fixed the LED over the CFL so that I can compare the lighting of the CFL with the LED. This is the normal lighting of this 14 watt CFL in my room. Now I will switch off the CFL and switch on my LED light and compare the lights. This is the lighting of my LED light. That's how you can hack a 5 volt mobile charger to get more than 10 volts out of it. If you like this video, you might like some of my other videos too. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.